Greetings, YouTube. Happy Saturday. I see in the in-game inbox we have this Bleed Champion bundles available now. And normally when I see this message, I think, oh, these bundles are going to be absolute trash because this normally means that they are the ultimate or legendary RNG type that give you a 20% shot at something that really you're paying what should be a 100% shot for. And if you think that's a little bit of a too generous expectation, I will outline in this video why it's not. Okay, so we have the Slice Bundle. Now, the Slice Bundle is different than what we have seen in the past in that it is not a legendary offer. It looks like it could be a featured Cavalier type offer because, indeed, you have a four to six star version of one of the following, but when you scroll down, let's make sure we look at those drop rates and you see that's a 17.5% for a five star or 1.5% for a six star. So that is the good news because believe it or not, what this usually is, is $40 for a 20% shot at a five star, which is the worst deal collectively that we see often in Marvel Contest of Champions. You can also see, I'm guessing for the, those of you that are uncollected, the Splatter Bundle, which is $29.99, and that gives you 1,500 five-star Hero Crystal Shards. Interestingly enough, it gives you some level three revives, which is a little different. Normally, it would be the 20% champion boost, but in its place is revives. I think for the average summoner, that's actually a bump up from what this deal normally looks like. Because, to, uh, to be quite honest, uh, you are looking at a opportunity for you as a summoner to embrace something that you can't get from a weekly milestone because a 20% boost, we all know, you can get normally uh, once you have completed the milestone for free. But a level 3 revive, not so much. In fact, they're rare enough to where I only currently have 6 of them. So let's talk about whether or not the champions, let's say you're going to go for the $50 bundle, which is the same format, the same price. I wish this thing, by the way, had at least 1,000 six-star shards because 500 is, is pretty bad. But uh, all right, so you do have a chance to get a six-star of these. Let's, let's just talk about the six-star first. Venom and Venom the Duck as six-stars are amazing, right? That would be fantastic. Old Man Logan's got an improvement. I have a six-star duped Nightcrawler, and he's fun to play with. Six-star Nick Fury is amazing. Uh, and then you've got Modok, Korg, both defenders mainly. Six-star Killmonger would be awesome. Gwyn Gwynpool, of course, is not included. Guillotine, I have an awakened six-star Guillotine, and she's been fun to play. That regeneration really helps. Six-star Drax continues to be ignored and pretty nerfed. Carnage. Uh, Blade, of course, is still a five-star. Black Panther, Civil War, Beast, Agent Venom, and Archangel. So this is uh, really a deal that concentrates, if you're hoping for a six-star and get that 1.5% RNG, and Lord knows there will be some people who get that and send me screenshots and or videos. If you're wanting to film a video of this and hoping to make it into some kind of video uh, yourself, make sure that you try to pop them just so that we're not spending 20 minutes on a video because that is just not what I consider to be responsible time for YouTube viewers. So... I'm excited about Venom. I'm excited about Venom the Duck. I'm excited about Symbiote Supreme. Uh, Carnage uh, as well. Masakre. Uh, I would love a six-star Masakre. As far as uh, five stars are concerned, if you don't have Blade, and then I, I don't know why I haven't brought this up. I guess it's because I have her, which is irresponsible of me. But Domino, as is seen both in the banner of this Slice Bundle deal and actually... The other banner as well, the Splatter Bundle. Uh, Domino is probably the best, or arguably the best, of this whole deal. It's interesting that uh, they're using Ronin in the left, since you can't use Blade like you can in the right. But this is for people who want to open some crystals and have some money in their pocket that they're just waiting to burn. This is something that uh, is still, for the Cavalier, a high risk, high reward, because you could easily spend 50 bucks, which is a lot of money, right? $50 is a ton of money to the average person. And you can still get three uh, star galore. You can get five three stars. And that would just be, and I've seen it happen plenty of times, that would just be a total dumpster fire burning of that, except for the boost and the six star shards, which the six star shards there are very little of. And the Splatter Bundle, on the other hand, is a safer bet. It's lower volatility. You get 1,500 guaranteed five stars. 
uh, shards and the level three revives, which like I've said today, I appreciate. And I, I have seen people who they just want to go all in. So they'll spend $80, right? They'll spend 50 bucks on the slice bundle and they'll spend $30 on the splatter bundle. I do not recommend that, but they will do it. And uh, in the process, they'll have better drop rates in the $30 bundle than the $50 bundle. Because like I said, it's the high versus low volatility when you consider the price point is $20 more. And this is in the United States. So of course, if you're watching this and you're in India or Canada or Australia or other countries that the conversion rate is not kind to you, you're going to be opening a, a lot worse. Part of me is tempted to get this just because I really want... Uh, a shot at duping my six-star Domino or getting my hands on a six-star Masakura, even though the uh, drop rates are terrible. I also just got a new five-star Venom, and I have no way to awaken him, so I might have to open that as well. So be on the lookout. Might, uh, might be doing some crystals and posting this video this afternoon. I might have a uh, very late live stream tonight because I will be at a colleague's house watching some football and pretending like I have a life outside of this game and my teaching job. Anyhow, thanks for watching YouTube, and thanks to everybody who sent your uh, support and kind words for the article that I posted featuring me, uh, having the opportunity to be one of the keynote speakers at next week's local Comic-Con event in Stillwater, Oklahoma. If you live close to the area and you'd like to meet me, I would love to meet you. I love meeting subscribers and even just answering questions in person about rank-ups. It's kind of cool to pull up the game with somebody that embraces it, because normally if you pull up the game and you're in, around friends and family, they look at you like you're you know revealing that you have some kind of disorder so if you would like to uh, see what it's like to not have that happen feel free to come to Stillwater Oklahoma next Saturday and uh, otherwise have a good one thanks for watching and good luck to everybody who goes for this I think I might because I have room in my boosts inventory I had 9 out of 13 so I can get to 12 out of 13 and uh, try to get my help my hands on an awakened venom why not thanks for watching YouTube